I think at this point, uh, Mr. Teo, I'd like to welcome on stage um, the author of the winning blog post on the subject on the CPA Singapore blog, uh, Lance Sum. Ladies and gentlemen, big round of applause, please, for Lance. Is that Lance or Lance? Lance, okay. It's a Singaporean. Okay, now Lance wrote, sorry, Lance wrote, um, I'm Gen Y. Instead of complaining that they're misunderstood, Gen Yers should do all they can to gain the knowledge and skills they need to succeed at the workplace. With more knowledge, Gen Yers will be able to see a clearer picture. The skills that you learn will stay with you even after you venture off to a greener pasture. Now, Lance, first, congratulations on your winning blog. Now, you said that instead of complaining that they're misunderstood, Gen Yers should do all they can to gain the knowledge and skills that they need to succeed. Why do you say that Gen Yers feel that they are misunderstood? What gave you that feeling, apart from your own view? Well, um, I think there are different work ethics between the Gen Yers and the rest of the generations. So with uh, differences, there will be friction. With friction, I think that creates the misunderstanding. What, what differences in work ethics are you talking about? Um, I'll quote an example. Uh, the Gen Yers like to actually follow rules, follow rules that are actually reasonable and works. <laughs> but uh, for the, they also like to implement new rules. They like to implement something that enhances the efficiency and try something new. Whereas for the rest of the generation, I think they, they are more on the balls. Yeah, they will follow the rules. So they, they like to follow rules because the rules have proved to work in the past. They did not want to try to write it. Yep. Okay, let's hear from some people who are not in uh, the generation who dare to create new rules but only follow the rules and want to rewrite rules. Um, can we hear from somebody who is perhaps not a Gen Y person? Do I see any hands? No? Trust me, from where I'm standing... People in Gen X and baby boomers outnumber the Gen Y, so don't be afraid to speak up. Okay, I can't quite see anyone. Okay, I'll just turn to the obvious non-Gen Y person then. Uh, so, Mr. Tio, what's your response to what he said? Um, what Lance has said? Maybe the context is Singapore. Uh, Singapore Gen Ys are yeah. obedient and uh, reserved, respectful. And, well, I would say a majority, yeah. but uh, impatient, of course. Uh, uh, misunderstood, uh, maybe very American. Gen Y misunderstood. I, I, I think when I go to China, I have dialogues with Gen Y. Everybody put up their hand. Almost everyone. It's like I have 50% put up their hand. I want to ask a question. Uh, these, are, uh, these are undergraduates, final year in business. And I just imagine these people, when they start, when they graduate and they really work in the society, and a lot of them are now can speak very eloquently in English. Real challenge for us, real challenge for our younger generation here. Uh, I, in the 97, 98, 99, it was a time I was in Shanghai and I built a company and it's all local stuff. Uh, one or two, I tried to groom them and today they are country managers or really holding very high position in multinational, doing really, really well. They are only in their 30s. I can tell you they can be a global manager anywhere very business savvy too and they know the big market so this is the generation we are challenging ourselves you know the, our Gen Y's here challenging the Gen Y's there so depends on what context uh, I couldn't generalize it but yes the basic point is clear you got to gain knowledge you got to gain the skill sets to make yourself employable marketable and to continue to that is the best way to ensure job security uh, no other way. It's continuous learning. 